Assalamu alaikum. Hi, I'm Sajid. I'm back with my new video. And today we are going to study Java methods. So, what are Java methods? Let's look at it. A method is a block of code which only runs when it's called. So, you can pass data known as parameters into a method and methods are used to perform certain actions and they are also known as functions. So, in some other programming languages like JavaScript, um, if you have studied, there we have functions. So, so if you have certain code um, uh, and uh, you want to um, use it as per your requirement in response to some event or when you want to call that code so you can bundle those like you can say a line of code into a method so that those that i mean line of code is called block of code and can be called when you need it so it's actually a way to reuse uh, a code uh, when it is required and also uh, you can call it multiple times whenever you need from different locations so uh, you don't have to write same thing again and again so why use methods to reuse code define the code once and use it many times so how do we call create a method here? Let's see, a method must be declared within a class. So method cannot be outside a class. It will always be in a class. So it is defined with the name of the method. So we have to give every method a name. So here we look at the syntax of one method here. So static white my method. And then these are like two parentheses and then curly braces. So okay so we, uh, we give a name to our method and java provides some predefined methods like we have seen this system that out dot print line but you can create your own methods to perform some actions and here we have seen so so let's look at it uh, here we have uh, one my my method is the name of the method static means that the method belongs to the main class and not an object of the main class right you will learn more about objects and how to access methods uh, objects through objects later in this uh, course and white means that method does not return any value so what happens is when you have a code you can send it some parameters and that uh, block of code can perform uh, some actions or uh, process those parameters and maybe calculate some value and return you so in that case your method should define like what kind of value it will return but here we have this uh, keyword called wide which means that this method will not return anything it will simply execute some lines of code okay and static means to access this method we don't need uh, object we can directly call this method with its name we will see in coming example so how do we call a method to call a method in java write the method's name followed by two parentheses uh, and a semicolon so uh, this we have seen here like look at here my method parenthesis and semicolon so um, in the following example let's see my method is used to um, print a text when it is called so let's look at the example see here um, public static wide main this is our main class and then we have our main method public static wide main string args and then we call my method then if you look at here uh, on top we have a method there this one which is my method and uh, okay and we could do you have defined it like static wide my method wide means it will not return any value static means this method can be called from the class without 
uh, uh, having an object so system dot out dot print line I just got executed I just got executed so if I uh, okay I am being executed so I'm just making a change here so if we now run the code okay so I'm being executed so this is how it works and if we want to call it two time okay and maybe we can add another line here um, where are you where are you okay and right and I am second print line okay right and let's execute it now what happens okay see here we have executed the code two times because we have called the matter uh, called two times and it has printed these lines I am being executed I am second print line we can see the result two times so this is how we define the methods and call them now look a method can be called multiple times we just seen that this example here in previous example I have executed the method uh, uh, three times uh, two times uh, so here we are calling it three times so same code will be executed three times which is I am I just got executed so I hope this been informative for you you learned something in this video and please share subscribe and um, stay tuned come back to watch uh, new videos in this series so that you can learn full java programming and its concept in detail so i'll be back soon by the time take care bye bye Allah Hafiz.